Good morning as we gather via the internet to celebrate the Holy Mass. Let us remember our special intentions, intention of this Mass. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who are worried and anxious during this coronavirus crisis. So we gather in prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let us now call to mind our sins, so we might be prepared to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you come with power to save your people. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the salvation of all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come with the power of baptism to save us and to heal us. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to, be, to welcome worthily the Paschal Mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought Ezekiel back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, when I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with the measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me weighed through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me weighed through the water which was now needy. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me weigh. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not weigh, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabic and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. There shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water come, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. This response to the psalm is, The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we shall, we shall not fear, though the earth be shaken, the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the, dwell, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, which shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there was in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate, a pool called us in Hebrew beside with five porticos. And these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I'm on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man that told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away, since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that something worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. From our first reading, we have the very powerful image of Ezekiel um, wading and then swimming through the water that comes from the um, temple, from the sanctuary of the temple. In our gospel passage, the man wants to be cured from the uh, pool, but Jesus, by his power, by his mercy, grants healing and grace to this man. For us in this time of Lent, we are called to again reflect upon our baptism. It is through our baptism that we have been healed, been redeemed, been forgiven of our sins. So yes, we can reflect upon God in the Old Testament, how he brought healing, grace to the people of the Old Testament. But now in the New Testament, Jesus is the sanctuary. Jesus is God's presence. He is the Son of God. He brings us healing. We gain that healing through our baptism. So as we continue to journey through this Lenten season, as we continue to strive 
in this um, current um, crisis of health. Let us stay strong in the spirit, allowing God's mercy to lift us up, to help us to always bring his love and mercy into the world. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy, for the healing power of our baptism. Let us now come before our Heavenly Father with our prayers and our petitions. Let the Church call all people to prayer in this holy season of when we pray to the Lord. That leaders of all nations come to know the God of peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are hungry to be fed, that they may all who are sick be healed, we pray to the Lord. My Christians of every tradition enter a true spirit of unity in this holy time of Lent, we pray to the Lord. For our own special intentions, those spoken and unspoken, let God may answer our prayer according to his grace, we pray to the Lord. For all who suffer and are sick in this time of crisis, may we continue to have faith and trust in God, we pray to the Lord. That members of our community grow more thankful and considerate during this Lenten season, we pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed of our families and our parish community, may they know the joy of eternal life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. God of heaven and earth, in love you created us, and through your Son you redeemed us. Hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual joy. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as our creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to rather hold to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, 
Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni Suceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy just as yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake in the word of the cross. But before his arm were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, O oh, our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look, kindly, most compassionate Father, on those unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body of Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostle and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and death. The peace of the Lord be with you all. On this day, we call this peccatomony, miserere nobis. On this day, we call this peccatomony, miserere nobis. On this day, we call this peccatomony, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall. I shall pray with you an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Embrace you. I embrace you as if you were already there and united myself to you whole. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the communion anaphon. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near, rest, near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. So I thank you for joining me as I celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass. The coronavirus is still uh, part of our situation, so we continue to pray for each other and our families. And just a thought, you might email me if I'm um, a different time. Perhaps 9 o'clock would work better with people's schedule. I'm open to whatever time might be the most for, for everyone. So you might just email me a response, whether 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, or perhaps 12 noon might be a better time. So again, I uh, thank you for your attention. We pray, grant a merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is in. Oh.